son. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello. See how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. I'm just gonna take your word for it. I need a vehicle in South Downs. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Is that a hot wheel? It's just like your order. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Hmm. I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way.
you know I've stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all You trying to rat? Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. Get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time. All right. What the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nap Johnson. What's he here for? Fucking mean what he here for. He here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker rooms down here on the east. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson! Just had to start something.
head to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Hey, baby! Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> and you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, you be hit in the... that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Wait for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I can't go out like this. Not like this! Don't worry. Lou and Sal will be along shortly. 
the fuck? You duh! Damn, get him! End right. You ain't walking up. You like that?
available units. Suspicious individual on foot. Officers investigating. All units in the vicinity be advised. Looks like engaging with all the units. Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See? Si. Certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. Brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No. I do not drink. George, he tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger killed your brother? That you wanted to discuss a deal between the two of us? My brother Tommy was a smart kid. He could have been anything. I tried to tell him go to college, even offered to pay for it. I apologize for your loss. I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all worked out, including how I was going to pay for it. Now it's all a goddamn mess. <laughs> you want my money. Well, I'm going to need enough to finish the construction. It ain't going to be cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words. Please. I want your money. This is good. <laughs> then I will bring you the money, and in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city, and you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only and reason. And you wish me to kill the nigger. Hmm? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy way. Find out how you're gonna screw me this time. South Downs belongs to us. Tommy was smart and set up some solid low-key rackets there. Should be a smooth transition for us. 
You really think you can trust Scaletta? You keep feeding that beast and he's gonna bite you when you least expect it. Half this turf is secured by my men. We want the other half. The action you bring to this table comes with history. People who secure it for you. Last time, I locked down that turf and walked away with nothing. Now, I got half, but I expect things to go my way this time. Come on, you know me. You got me running most of the fucking city. And hell, man, doing what I'm doing here for you is in my fucking blood. And I'll spill any amount of that blood to defend it. I gave you Richard Doucet. Make the Prove your worth a damn, Lincoln. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. Folks in the holler expect us to stick together. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Take a stand here, Chucky. Square it up with me. So what's it gonna be, Chief? Get on with it. It's too much work to be done. The Haitians will run this part of the city. I've had enough of this shit. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies and I'll never forgive you for it. Bert, come on now. Shit don't need to jump that far yet. There's only so much shit none an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln, and it's time you made this right. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Decision's been made. I expect y'all to move on. Consider the big picture here and hold true to what we're doing together. 